Welcome to Mormon Book Reviews, where an evangelical encounters the restoration. I'm your host, Stephen Pinecker. And why are we wearing shades today, Rebecca? We are re wearing shades in homage to earlier this year, we did the whole uh, advertising for the screening of the movie, uh, The Return of Elder Pingree. And uh, our friends over at Mormonism Live, Bill Real and uh, Radio Free Mormon, gave us two minutes, two minutes only, to promote our product. And we thought, well, we got to do the sunglasses because it's a Hollywood-like movie premiere. And you know what, Rebecca? Does it get more big than the one of the great celebrities, the man, the myth, the legend, the superstar? Backyard Professor has a major announcement to make here exclusively on Mormon Book Reviews and also maybe a little bit on Mormonish as well later today. The Backyard Professor, Carrie Schertz, is in the house. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. That was... Uh an electric <laughs> introduction that the audience is going to see right through <laughs> backyard who <laughs> yeah so this is the thing this is you know so last night i get an email from from carrie here and he's like well i'm going and doing my own thing now and i'm first i'm reading it's like well what happened you know was this a big scandal between bill real and this is uh, oh my goodness you know this is going to be this battle royale between rfm byp and Bill, be able to real. And I thought, what's going on here? And then I found out, I, I picked up the phone. Harry, what is going on over at the backyard professor? And you are like telling me this really exciting, I personally, this is a really exciting thing because honestly, I think this was meant to be in the first place. You literally 15 years ago started a YouTube channel while you were still an apologist for Fair Mormon uh, called the backyard professor. And then you kind of did your little, uh, I don't know, Harold's, Harold's journey? I don't know. And you found your way and you did this whole big thing. And then you found yourself about a year and a half later back in the Mormon podcast world using the platform of Bill Reel's Mormon Discussions, Inc. And they had even encouraged you, Carrie, we need to hear your voice again. Well, Carrie's had a very interesting journey. And I think that journey is, we can, we can even document that evolution via your channel, The Backyard Professor, and also your Backyard Professor segments on Mormon Discussions. This is the thing, folks. The Backyard Professor is back at the Backyard Professor YouTube channel. That's the big news. So, Carrie, tell us what uh, led to this. I want to talk about the history of the Backyard Professor. But what made you decide? I want to just to, to, to talk about tomorrow night, Sunday. So either we're going to be releasing it today or tomorrow before your announcement uh, the, the, on, your, on your old new channel. The Backyard Professor, that is where you're going to be live every Sunday night, like you were on Mormon Discussions. Uh, just talk a little bit about what led up to that. And then I want to talk a little bit about the Backyard Professor channel. All right. Well, thank you. Um, I appreciate the enthusiasm and the support. Uh, we're this, like this. Carrie, yeah. Carrie. <laughs> oh, stop. No genuflecting, please. <laughs> no, I... Uh, I my my channel in some ways depresses me because when I look back 15, 16 years ago and I see how dashing and brashing and young I was, it's electrifying. I mean, I go, was I really that young at one time? But yes, this is my old, uh, I am moving back to my old original Mormon apologetic channel. And I, I, I let it... I've always loved chess, although I suck at it, but I'm a good teacher, they say. And I had a grandmaster, a true story. In fact, I've had two grandmasters tell me, oh, you don't have to be a grandmaster. You don't have to be a master to teach chess at all. Uh, I, I had severe criticisms. I had wonderful support. I let the criticisms overwhelm me there for a while. And I had a couple of really good grandmasters tell me, dude, we watch you and we actually learn something from you. So keep sharing your chest. So when I, when I had my faith uh, die off in certain aspects and I became enlightened more in certain aspects of Mormonism, I didn't know what to do. So I turned to my next love chess and I started doing chess and my audience enjoys it. Um, and I love it. And now uh, under Mormon discussion Inc. Now I have to do a shout out to my good friends, Bill real and radio free Mormon. Uh, we, we are in a battle 
There's no question, but we're on the same side. <laughs> we're still battling. <laughs> we're battling ignorance, deception, and, you know, so forth, manipulation and all that. So, no, uh, we are all happy that I'm able to. My analogy for the Mormon Discussion, Inc., thank you, Bill Real, so much for bringing me on. Thank you, Radio Free Mormon, for interviewing me in the first place. He, got, he You know, he tried for four years. He really did. And, and I kept putting him off. So, so what finally uh, won you over? <laughs> what did he finally do to convince you? <laughs> he, he said, uh, get off your dead button interview with me, dude. I'm getting tired of asking you. So I, yes, sir. <laughs> so tough love. Tough love is what you're saying. <laughs> when radio free Mormon speaks, we listen. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, no, uh, they're wonderful friends. I'm looking forward to being with them in more thrives along with you guys. Sunstones, I missed this year's Sunstone. I'm still kicking myself in the butt. It's okay. There will be many more together. So we'll have parties for the rest of our lives together. What I, I was the egg that was hatched in the Eagle's Nest on Mormon Discussion Inc. They got me back into the YouTubing of discussing the subject, right? So, and they, they wanted me to tell my story because I am one of the original three founders of FAIR. Although they don't claim me anymore, it's all good. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, Daryl Barksdale, Julianne Reynolds, and myself founded fair and then it went in a direction that i was entirely opposed to we founded it all three of us together agreed and we founded it as an independent organization once scott gordon got involved he wanted to bring in a 70 into the email group and on the board of directors etc i disagreed anyway to make a long story short i ended up in mormon discussion inc and it was so much fun. I learned more being under the tutelage of Bill Reel and Radio Free Mormon about the electronics, the backside of this on how to manipulate banners and do live shows on StreamYard and all than I ever would on my own. So I owe them a debt of gratitude, and I'm really good friends with them still. Uh, the parting of the ways is entirely congenial, but... I need to spread my wings and go sailing. Now the eagle is going to fly. The eagle has not landed. The eagle has taken off. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to wow. go like crazy. I have a lot of great ideas to share. I have wonderful podcasts to do with all of you guys some more. So I'm very excited for this launch. I am going to continue the uh, Backyard Professor Responds. I am going to continue the Sunday program live at 6 p.m. every Sunday. I am going to continue the Backyard Professor videos, but I am going to expand and develop a chess live program. Oh. I am going to continue my chess. Ooh. And I have finally gotten back into it seems like i i'm an off and on type of guy this time i'm going to try to turn on and stay on and shine bright but i am doing fantasy art i have loved fantasy art since my mama helped me <laughs> draw dragons at three years old and now i'm being able to do so my art has actually helped me create a story and i'm writing a fantasy novel and see that little lady over there on, in this group right now she is one of the main characters because she <laughs> asked me to draw her dungeons and dragons character and i Ooh, did now you've outed me <laughs> no it's my honor and so rebecca is going to play a huge part and steve don't take this wrong but you remind me of an elf. I would like to get some pictures from you and put you in the show or the book too. So a six, a six foot three elf. Okay. <laughs> six foot three elf. Oh my goodness. No, I, I can see you being an elf, but Rebecca is the golden rider on the golden headed unicorn. And she wow. is a major character. So anyway, wow. we're, we're, I'm going to have fun. I'm not going to change my, my attitude or approach, um, I may not be able to swear as much on my channel. I think it's geared much more for a PG-13 audience. And so that is how I will conduct myself. Okay. I, I don't need to swear and rant and rave anyway. But I do need to share because the reality is this. And and this is the bottom line. This, this 
this is why we're all doing these videos and everybody needs to know it. We're not doing this out of spite. Uh, we do get spiteful. I, I will plead guilty on that. We do get somewhat snarky. I am probably truly guilty on that. And that won't change really. But it is about helping people regain their personal momentum and self-worth and value. And that's what makes this worth doing in mm. my opinion. So that, that's my aim. And it doesn't matter whether you're art, chess, Mormonism, religion, history, science, philosophy. I love all those subjects and I will bring all of them in. I am also going to do a major revamping and an updating of the uh, Joseph Smith papyri and Book of Abraham. Now, I know there was a lot of people who really enjoyed that first series because I came completely unhinged. I was brand new back. And so I was very amateur and all. I've gotten much more. I've got my presentation better, but there is new information and updates that are available that I have access to. And I do want to upgrade the whole thing because Thank you, Dan Vogel, and thank you, Robert Rittner, and thank you, H. Michael Marquart. They gave me clarity for the first time, and I really enjoy that. So, you know, and, and we have new information on Book of Mormon Archaeology, and I'm going to get access to a couple of scholars that Rebecca has had access to, and I'm, I'm, in the, I'm putting that together. So we've got a boatload of material that I'm going to put on my website and I am going to go like crazy. I'm finally going to be able to catch all the rest of you wonderful legends. Yeah, Steve. You also have, you also have the backyard professor.com, right? Is that the name of your website? Backyard professor.com? No. Um, I just want to make sure, you know what we're, um, let, can, let's you also go, this. can you go to the web page yeah, itself? Well, what we're going to do is I'm going to go and we're going to show everybody your new, your, it's not your new old channel, right? <laughs> and so, yeah. yeah. And then, Most people uh, probably. Look at that logo. Wow. Look at that profile. Yeah. yeah I, I've got to switch that. He's looking off the page and I've got to put him so he's looking back <laughs> on. The page. Well, why don't, why don't you. Right. See, well, there's my first live session coming up this Sunday night. Yeah, so this Sunday, and so that's episode one. And and actually, you got that back. You got a cool backyard professor logo there that you could use, right? Like these guys here. Those you could even use that as a logo. Yeah. Um, yeah well, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to use that or not. Um, oh. I mean, I've got it there, but Bill Real is the one that paid for that. I haven't asked mm -hmm. him yet. If okay. Well, me, if he'll let me use it, I will. Okay. If yeah. Not, Create my own, but he Bill, did one. Bill, let him let him use it, Bill. And then I see here <laughs> that you have a website. So let me just click on that back professor.com. No, that's not a website. That's a link to these oh. things, and I can't get it off, and I don't know what it is. I'm oh. still working on some things. So well, sorry. you know, you, okay, so a work in progress. I will have other links. I'm just now revamping this. Okay, so, so this is I, a work in pro this is a work in progress. Yeah, yep. uh, this is your channel, and it's so all the URL is youtube.com forward slash at the backyard professor, right there, folks. Okay. See, right there, that's what you want to look at. I think most of the audience are already subscribed to this because mm -hmm. it, it, but if not, please come and hit that little bell and subscribe and uh, hit the notifications because I'm going to. And now, here, this is my see that section below my live i've got three sections my live section that i just created last night then the videos section okay yeah. and that shows that line of videos and then the one next underneath it are all of my chess videos they'll just scroll yeah that yeah, and those are oh, wow. all. Oh, look at that. Now, now, I've got these intermixed, and I'm going to change this out. I started putting in, I've got Colby Townsend there and some Backyard Professor Responds and some chess. I'm going, <clears throat> I'm going to make playlists and yeah. separate all that out so that it's very easy to find. You just go to the section. I will have a section um, with chess. I will have a section with Mormonism. I will have a section with backyard professor live. I will have a section with backyard professor responds. I will have a section with backyard professor fantasy art, etc. But I've been a busy beaver for 
the last off and on for the last 15 you are years. prolific look at this <laughs> I, I, I scrolling I doesn't what, stop this what is, is he incredible. eating there what are, what are you eating there? Well, and look at your hair. Look at your hair. I recently learned, let me just say, uh, several of us, uh, Landon and, and a group went down to visit uh, Carrie over last weekend. And he told us that he used to have long hair, longer than mine, all the way down past his waist. And I, I, his I, wife was I, telling I, us some stories about the intricate braiding and just, I, I want to start a campaign to have you grow that back. <laughs> I will in my retirement. I'm not allowed to at work, okay. but my plan. Okay. But I found all those old pictures, so I will make a video on that. Yeah, oh, I've got yeah. them all. I found Absolutely. them all. Yeah, we're dying to see. Oh That's my gosh, great. the way you guys described it was incredible. So, you know, I just want to, I want to say, I really like, see, this is the thing, like my channel, look, the beautiful thing about having your own platform is that you can do whatever you want. And so- you know, like, as hey, much as you want, and That's, as much as you want, that was right? my incentive to break away. Right. I was limited, and it's not. It wasn't out of spite. It, no. There's no, there's no anger here. It's all right. good. It, it all worked out. But Bill had a certain his his group. He has so many under him. Right. I'm not sure how it works. Uh, I don't know the intricate ins and outs. But all I know is I can now bring back a lot more information than I have been kicking out for the last three months. So right. now I will be able to produce videos. Well, and that's the I thing, you know, I love it because I, I can call you last night. We can schedule an interview and we can get it posted. You have more freedom to do whatever you want. You can be impulsive. Yeah. There's not, be careful, not too impulsive. You don't want to get, you know, <laughs> go to get, go, go down that road sometimes. But the thing is, is that, you know, uh, you know, like for instance, on my channel, not everything, not every single thing I have on, on my channel is about Mormonism. Sometimes it's about other things, you know, um, and, and, and uh, like, you know, and even having people like Michael Shermer on. And then uh, the last couple of weeks, I, two weeks ago today, I'm two weeks ago today, I'm on an Israeli based YouTube channel talking to one of the top Hebrew scholars in the world who had been in his bomb shelter at his home in his apartment building three times that day. And next thing you know, I'm covering the war in Israel. Next thing you know, I'm, ta I'm, I'm talking to military uh, people. I'm talking to rabbis in Jerusalem. I'm talking to, uh, uh, I mean, Jewish people. I'm talking to the guy who was on the last seat on the last plane out of out of Israel when they shut things down. I mean, it's a miracle story. And within 20, 48 hours of him flying out of Jerusalem, I'm using the the uh, studios of Southeastern University and Assemblies of God School in Lakeland, Florida, interviewing him. It was a remarkable story how this all happened. So in my mind, it's like, well, God just wants me to cover the Israeli war. So that's what I'm going to do. Right. And but that's the thing. I have the freedom to do that. But also, I also feel like there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of commonalities that a lot of typical Latter-day Saints and evangelical Christians have a real deep heart for the Jewish people. And so this is another way of probably bringing to the interfaith dialogue together, finding commonality is with that. But again, if you're if you're if you're if you try to put you like I was, I was telling you, Rebecca, earlier, you know, I was saying, like, don't put me in a box. I'm not I'm not going to be put in a box. And, and and that's the thing. I don't think Carrie shirts can be put in a box because obviously you're <laughs> oh, talking no. about exactly. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> let's throw, let's <laughs> throw that box. Bin. <laughs> we're going to throw that box in the trash. That's what we're going to do. But the thing that's is, it. is, is that you are going to be also to do your Mormon stuff and yep. educate people. And this is the thing, you know, also, you're a very fair balanced guy, too, because you've had Jonathan Neville on. You'll have faithful people like on con to to, to talk, talk to you. Hatch, the BYU New Testament scholar who I'm exactly. going to have back. And, yeah. yeah. So all this thing. So you so have all of them. Yeah. yeah and, and so you can kind of do your own thing and have, be your own category and just and be I've able to talk Mormon. about. What's that? I've had Mormonish. Yes, of course, you've had Mormonish and everything. Oh, yeah. Yes. So you're gonna have you're just gonna have fun and you're gonna be able to talk about the topics you want to talk about. And Rebecca, I just want to say to you, first of all, congratulations on your channel recently hitting three thousand subscribers. It's Mormonish, and I just want to read a uh, message here. Um, I messaged John Delin because speaking of reaching, uh, so the I need to get him to yeah. tell me to get yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell my story to his audience. I think you need it's to the go next level. Stories. Yeah. So I said, uh, we, congratulations on reaching 200,000 subs. You're the goat. And then I said, and Sandra Tanner as well. And I, yeah. and then he kind of, kind of texts me back. He says, love and miss you, brother Steve. Congrats on your growth as well. Way to slay. 
And so a lot of us are reaching these really big uh, heights. Uh, you know, now, you know, I'm like excited. Hey, I'm, I'm closing in on 10,000 subscribers, hopefully by next spring. Rebecca hit mm -hmm. 3,000. You actually have 30 something thousand subscribers already with your backyard yeah. professor and over 5 million <laughs> views. So like you've already got your platform. And so you've reached a lot of those goals that we're striving for as well. And I just think that it's just kind of cool. I think, I think the backyard professor belongs at the backyard professor. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm excited to to see what comes of it. Now I'm I'm the kind who really does like to interact a lot with my audience also. And so it's kind of fun to get their ideas and views so that I can do uh videos or live sessions or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and now that I've got StreamYard and I know how the slides work, I can put a little bit more of what I love to do in and broaden the variety of my audience because my, my fantasy art is exceptionally good because I'm able to combine it with the artificial art intelligence, but I don't just leave it at that. I have to, put myself into it as well. So I change it up myself and I will be doing lots of stuff on that. But, and I love the chess and I love the Mormon topic. I love the Christian topic. I love the scripture topic. Uh, as an apologist, I went into the biblical languages a little bit. No, I didn't get proficient, but I have all the lexicons, dictionaries, capabilities of looking stuff up. And you can do that online now. My goodness, I spent... Oh my gosh, <laughs> if I could cast those books in, I almost would. Except I love having a book in my hands. Online is wonderful. The research capability is unbeatable. But to hold the book in your hand, man, that, that they're nothing like wait, that. Wait, 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 let me see the book. What book, what, what book is that? It's like, what book is that? Sydney Riggin. Yeah, that's what I thought. Sydney ah, Riggin. This is go. a very, very wonderful look at Sydney Riggin by Richard S. Van Wagner, who is truly a premier. His book on polygamy is mind bogglingly good, really good stuff. So, but yeah, I, if I could cash out my books on Hebrew and stuff like that and Greek. Oh my gosh, I'd have $10,000. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just in that small section. Some of those are pretty pricey, but I wouldn't do that. But, mm -hmm. So, I mean, I like to jump into that. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't done a lot in, in this area. Uh, sometimes I go back and forth with the, uh, the science. I love the subject. I'm no good at it, but I have some decent uh, books that analyze science and uh, you know every now and then I get a wild nose up my hair and and uh, or wild hair up my nose or wherever it goes <laughs> in my ear or wherever and I I have to jump on the subject especially when there's a new discovery everybody loves the quantum because you can just make it yeah. say in, in anything you want right sure. and i used to do that as an apologist i tied in quantum physics with the doctrine and covenants one time i found that podcast it's on my website it's a real early <laughs> one but i did a whole series here's the fun thing about my website too i mean i don't know how popular this would be it doesn't matter it's going to be fun to review my former videos of my former self. If I can do, I can make clips of my former videos. Yeah. If I won't cry at how young I was yeah. discussing an argument and now showing why I no longer accept that argument, that might make a fun yeah. scene. Yeah, no, I think it'd be interesting. Yeah, because I remember as an yeah. atheist watching your stuff and thinking, man, I just run run circles around that guy, you know? And then I remember- I You even can remember, now too. Yeah, I, <laughs> I remember- uh going on reddit this is probably years ago like a long time ago and going on reddit and somebody took a screenshot of of something you said on a book review on amazon saying i think this is the backyard professor and i think he's left mormonism you know type kind of thing i think it's the same guy i'm like whoa backyard professor like he, he what what's going on here i'm confused like this was the guy who was this apologist and now i'm reading on reddit that you're no longer a, a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And what's so interesting to me is that for a long time, you went through an anger phase, you went through the angry atheist phase and all this kind of stuff. And now you've kind of come around full circle where you're much more 
the anger isn't there like it used to be. And you 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 can kind of I think you feel like you've kind of leveled off and you can talk to faithful Mormons and not and, and, and hear faithful arguments and not get upset or throw your so something at the TV or whatever. And so I think you've you've grown in that area. Remember, I always throwing books. Throw books. That's throwing right. Books. That's there right. we go. We throw That's books. Right. And and so I think that's great. Now, Rebecca, you know, obviously, uh, I, I imagine you have a few questions for for Carrie as well, because you're going to be taping something with Landon to kind of preview this as well. What we want to do, and this is the other thing I want to do, is I'm going to contact Gene Judson and see if maybe Gene and Maven can interview you this weekend for their yeah. channel, which is the that's Latter right. Daily Digest, and they talk to Latter other Daily people. Digest. So let's see if we, I'll try to get that lined up for you too, my friend. Right. Now, um, this afternoon, unfortunately. Um, I have to be away for a while. It might not be until a little later this evening. Well, they can, and, and I think they usually tape on Sundays, so it may end up working better for them just to tape with you tomorrow because that's when they. Yeah, give them, give them, give them my. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah, love to do that. That would be right. Too. So, Gene, here's how out of the loop I am. Gene Judson, my friend Gene Judson, is coupled up with Maven doing. Yep. Put, I, where am? Where yeah. am I? See, I'm out of the loop. <laughs> yeah, well, you're going to be more in the loop now, Carrie. No, it's a brilliant idea for a podcast. It's a podcast about podcasting because there <laughs> are so many podcasts. So it's like if anybody remembers uh, Talk Soup way back in the day, that dates me. But you basically mm -hmm. talk about other platforms yeah. and you have those people on and then they share their content. And, you know, it just helps everybody know what's going on. So I yeah. think it's a brilliant idea. They're just starting. It's really Yeah, they're just exciting. starting. We're helping them get uh, get going. Uh, what they want to do, too, is eventually like, like show clips from different podcasts i even told gene your tagline should be we watch all the podcasts so you don't have to you know type kind of yeah. thing or listen yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> and and so kind of like highlight the different uh podcasts yeah. and maybe do like a, a show like talk soup so it's it's evolving yeah. it's kind of you know they're just getting yeah. their feet wet but i'd like to maybe get them to talk to you as well so we'll work yeah. on that and this is the thing this is the thing this is what I've been trying to do all along. I think that Bill, Re I've been doing something like Bill Reel's doing, but it's a little different because I, I'm not trying to build like a tent where I have all these other people under me like doing their stuff. But what I'm doing is still the similar thing is helping launch other YouTubers, helping launch other podcasters or highlighting them like I did with Mormonish. Remember our episode, what is a Mormonish, right? And then now you yep. want to- I found Mormonish through your site, so I okay. love yeah. all of you guys yeah. because Mormonish is some of my favorite people, just like Mormon book reviews. So, I mean, really, truly, you two are like peas in a pod as far as Aww. me discovering you and enjoying you and having you yeah. back and forth on my show. That's okay. never going to end. We're going to have to all live to be 299 years old. Nine years because old. if you die early on me or I die early on you guys, I'm coming <laughs> no. back. Anyway. Don't leave us. That's <laughs> right. No, and that's, you know, that's the most surprising thing to me about just delving into the podcasting world is just the true friendships. I mean, I don't know if viewers or listeners go, are they really, you know, friends? Is it just, no, we are friends. We all talk behind the scenes. I've been in that studio where Carrie is right now. And I have to say it's, it's large. Like he's, there are books everywhere and we're going to go out and visit Steve probably in the next. Yeah, exactly. Show that it is. This is where the That's magic what I'm happens. Looking at Look at right this. Now. <laughs> Look at this. It <laughs> is just, <laughs> just, I mean, he's the real deal. And so is Steve, you know, and we're, we're going to more Mormonish is going to go out a group of us to visit Steve in the next couple months. And, you know, it, it's just really fun, you know, to be able to put out content for people and to be able to enjoy interactions, collaborations. And I have to, again, shout out, we've said it before to uh, Bill Real and to RFM, you know, so supportive of people that are new, seeing potential in somebody saying, you may not know how to do this. You may not know what StreamYard is or how to do slides. Let me help you. Now, Mormonish has never been under the discussions umbrella, but I have to tell everybody that Bill Real and, and Radio Free Mormon, so supportive. Like we have been able to call them with questions. They have given us suggestions. You know, when people are starting out, they are there for you in just a very amazing way that you wouldn't expect. You know, you just would not expect because they're so busy and they have other things, but they're very supportive of everybody. So I think we need to just keep making sure everybody understands that, you know, and then when and Carrie's ready and he's learned everything and then exactly he goes on and he can help support people like 
like Steve, Steve's always like, I discovered you. And he did, you know, he's the first one that said, Hey, you want to come on my podcast and sort of start talking? Now I'm sure a lot of people wishes that I, you know, would stop talking. But it's not Never. So, it's so again, funny. It's because just a great relationship it is. between it really, everybody. Honestly, I, this is what I love so much about this. And really, when you think it's a little over two years ago now that you, you, and we're going to have an, just so you know, I'm going to do a one-on-one -on -one interview with Rebecca and we're going to talk about the full story. Because to me, it's right. a remarkable story about how this all started. Nobody knew who we were just a few years, two and a half years ago, Rebecca, nobody knew, uh, knew us. And now it's strange to recognize that people will see you and they'll get excited to meet you. And it's like, I'm still that person that nobody heard of two and a half years ago. But now I realize like, oh yeah, it would have been a big deal to me two years ago to run into John DeLynn or yeah. RFM or Rick Bennett, right. a number of these people that I would listen to all the time. I got excited. Like, I can't believe I'm talking to so-and-so. I can't believe that John DeLynn is messaging me and I got 20 subscribers, right? So I recognize how crazy it is to kind of be like in our little world, you're kind of viewed as like a celebrity. And I don't feel comfortable even using that word. Um, the real celebrity, of course, is right there, the backyard professor. Oh, oh yes. Gosh, yes. Right. Here we of go course. again. That's but, right. Well, again, hardly, nobody that, hardly knows who I am. I'm going to go back in disguise. So. <laughs> but you <laughs> are going to get to know me if you don't. So. And, and I have to say, a lot of fun together and we're going to do here's yeah. the thing the quality of information in my opinion and i i get it there's a bias involved here i understand but the quality of information from the postmo exmo because of the internet has skyrocketed in really good analysis we can't help it because you're no longer able to you can't just say stuff and think you're going to get away with it. The Exmo and Postmo community, they will come back at you and say, "Okay, wait, you backyard professor, you said that Rebecca has had this experience too. You, backyard professor, you said this, but wait, hold on, where did you get that? Because I right. googled something and I came up with something different." They'll do that with you. And isn't that a terrific way yep. to spiral upward in our knowledge and understanding instead of just say, oh, well, you, you have to have faith in what I'm saying. <laughs> right. Well, and that's, that's the other thing too, is the internet is enabled. There's no longer, there's no longer gatekeepers. Right. The, oh, and, and that's the thing, like, that there was a time when the gatekeepers were, and, and this is on my side, you know, had, you had evangelical gatekeepers, that there was only certain apologists' voices that you would hear. You had gatekeepers, uh, you know, through different institutions that controlled a lot of the information. Even in many ways, you could argue that Fair, Fair Mormon has fancied themselves or Fair LDS as a gatekeeper against oh, no, even no. other other. Latter-day Saints, Saints even, they even try to squash out other Latter-day Saints. Yeah, yeah, they're fighting their own selves yeah. much more than yeah. they're fighting us. Exactly. They really are. Yeah, and yeah. so so you have these this thing, and now because of this, we and, and again, I, I listen, there are these self-appointed gatekeepers in Facebook groups and on Reddit, and they just, and, and, and I'm like, you don't get it. You don't, you, the, you, I got I got this. It was so crazy. I one of this group they they didn't like me posting in their Facebook group, right? And I'm like, I don't understand. You know, like why you're you're doing this to me? Because you'll let other podcasters post, but you won't let me pot because they were gatekeeping, right? Well, they only let certain voices in. Well, guess what? Now I've got a a Facebook group that's almost as big as that group that took them years to get to their level, and I'm we've already built something through the Inter Utah Interfaith Forum where we're letting these voices be heard. So, okay, you know, that's the thing. If gatekeepers are going to keep me out, I'll just build my own platform. I'll build my own uh, Facebook groups. I'll build my own YouTube channel and get the information out there and try to do it in, in my sense. You know, I'm the non-political, neutral Switzerland of Mormonism guy who mm -hmm. the next person I interview is probably going to be a faithful member of the church, right? That's that's how I roll. And, and I think that's a really important thing to do that. And so that's the thing, you know, so Carrie, you know, you were, you established Fair Mormon. You started that thing and that at the time, and of course, Nathan Smith, who we're all good friends with, he was mm -hmm. one of the 16 year old apologists, you know, answering questions that back in, you know, back in the day. And so, and Jackson Washburn was involved in that. And now people are able to now, those people can have their own platforms and can do their own thing. And I think that's really important that all the voices of the restoration are actually being heard now. Yeah. Yeah. And they are, whether you like it or not, as far as that goes, uh, the thing that, 
I believe that we're all learning, and that's uh, on both sides of this fence. And I think FAIR is getting there somewhat. Okay. Uh, they're, they're a little slower on it, but they're learning that there really are other voices that really do have points to make that we have to now. We've stepped four or five steps forward. But now sometimes you do have to go back on a couple of things you used to believe in or believe and say, all right, um, I have to get a little bit more nuanced because there is some new information that I saw on Mormonish that now I have to re-examine my assumptions on the Book of Mormon historicity or on the SEC scandal or whatever. The backyard professor talks about this Book of Abraham stuff. Well, gosh, he brought out a lot of stuff on the eyewitnesses of the papyri that I had never heard before. Okay, let's step back and relook at this. Steve Pinecker has interviewed Richard Bushman. I didn't, I wasn't aware that that was the current, I, I wasn't aware that the history of the church was being approached in that manner. So I have to rethink. That's the whole point, isn't it? This reassessment, not get dogmatic. Uh, Dan McClellan, shout out to our friend Dan McClellan, do data over dogma. Rather than just insisting everyone think alike, we're now recognizing that none of us have the finality. We're still all working through this soup, but everybody's got an ingredient that is essential to enjoy the flavor of the soup. Who likes beef soup? I do, but it's even better with the carrots, the onions, contradictory flavors, the beef stew, the uh, the broccoli. Yeah, the broccoli. I know, I love broccoli. I'm telling you the secret. <laughs> The secret to eating good vegetables, I eat broccoli almost daily. What you do is you pour olive oil over the broccoli and the carrots, and then you sprinkle it with smoked salt. Okay. Yeah. I'm telling you that's Is this a cooking salt. show? You're starting a cooking show now too, aren't you? You've got your art. You've got your scholarship. You're cooking. This is incredible. <laughs> you know, that's great. I love it. You know, this is the other thing, too, is what, one of the things that the advantage we have doing what we're doing in, with our YouTube channels and our podcasts and all this kind of stuff is that the, the apologetics, the apologists, both evangelical apologists and Latter-day Saints apologists, is it seems like by the time they publish a paper or publish a book, it's already been dated because we're we're literally pushing the envelope so much Look, I, I've I've had I, I there are Christian apologists that I've had on, and their arguments are already dated by the time their book comes out. Then mm -hmm. I've and I've had them on my program, and 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 that's the same thing with with what we see with Fair Mormon is that they put something out and like man, we talked about that six months ago or a year ago, mm -hmm. and we are already dealing and, and they're they're playing catch up now with yeah. with us. And one one of the things I have well, we all we're all playing catch up. You know that's a great phrase, Steve, because yeah. in a way we are doing the same thing. We're yeah. all playing catch up and you can't, so you have to be humble. No, that's right. Have yeah, exactly, exactly. Like well, John, is that Charles know. Larson. That's Charles Larson. Oh no, oh, no, no. That's Richard Bushman. That's Come Richard on. Bushman. Well, there it like is. The cover of Charles Larson's so, Joseph Papyri. You okay. you brought up Bushman and, and, and made a really good book. Yeah. The beautiful thing about Richard Bushman he he's still a student he's still oh, to learn course. and i so, love that man and i love that man he yes. hasn't he hasn't settled with he he, he he the problem is like like there are he's in his 90s isn't he steve yes and, and he's still a student boy i love that that's still that's, a student that's what i want to emulate right there and, yeah. and actually, I want to pull a book here. I'm going to do a Carrie well, shirt. Well, Rebecca and Landon, you know, when they I feel got, like my bookshelf is really lacking. Every no, I, I need no, to do no. something about this. Rebecca and Landon, <laughs> the way you guys uh, do research and all, I've just been super impressed with the way you're taking this idea of let's be students and let's learn something to a higher level you guys are some of the cream of the crop as far as i'm concerned for emulating mm -hmm. saying okay let's let's look into this more and well and, right. the, john, the john gonna, lundwall, the john lundwall the john lundwall stuff the john yeah. lundwall series yeah myself on the back because i think i was partially influential for steve at least beginning to show his books well yeah. i think yeah yeah well, finally yeah. i got I, I'm I'm I feel like I'm shelf worthy now, you know that. that oh, I, I, look, I, there we go. You know, 
But I, I, the reason I brought up Richard Bushman is because in my interview with him, I bring up, I talk about, well, there's other people who have found other plates because we were talking about the history of the plates. Mm-hmm. And I told him about yep. Matthew Gill and the Chronicles of the Children of Aranek. This, yep. is, this is probably the only copy in North America. This guy's based in England. He's got, he's a, he's a pre, the president, the, the prophet, seer, and revelator of what was originally called the Latter-day Church of Jesus Christ. But then there was a lawsuit, the, the church threatened the lawsuit with the name. <laughs> But I went to Richard and I said, look, he claims to have found, first of all, I said, he he claims to have actually seen the plates uh, Mm -hmm. uh, for the Book of Mormon was presented to him. So he saw them. Uh, The angel Moroni, I believe, appeared to him. But he also was Mm -hmm. given a set of plates about the his the lost history of the people who bought uh, built Stonehenge. So 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 this is Uh, there were Jaredites. These broke off from Jaredites. Jaredites, And uh, basically, they crossed the English Channel. And this is this is their alleged records of this of this lost civilization. And I told Richard Bushman about this on the on the interview. And he goes to me and he's like, Well, first of all, I wish I had consulted you for my book, which to me was like the highest compliment ever. Wow. But then he goes and he says, you know, and I said, What do I I said, as an outsider, how am I supposed to approach this? And as a Latter day Saint, how are you to approach this? And he says, You know what? He said, You need to just step back and not be so critical and just look at what they're doing, read it, and, and maybe come to it with a better un, with an open mind. That's Richard Bushman in his 90s. I don't mm-hmm. know if there's a lot of Mormon apologists who would ever make that statement. But right. you know what? Even if you want to do good, if you want to do good Mormon apologetics, then you need to do study this. You you yep. need to you need to and, steal and, and listen to John Lundwall. And listen to John. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. John but Lundwell. also that's right. See, the best kind of apologetics is is yeah. I'm gonna steel man this book. Mm-hmm. rather than straw man it right. And, right, right, and, right and that's where you get better apologetics as well and see to me richard bushman is the yes that richard bushman is the man that we should emulate was to, to always be students don't just assume that you know everything you know there's this group in utah they have research in their name it's called like mormon research as, as part of their name but yet i never see him at mormon history association I never see him at John Whitmer Historical Association. I never see him at Sunstone. I never see them presenting papers. And they're and they're claiming they're doing research on Mormonism. And I'm like, I don't see any research. I see people that have already have the answers, kind of like maybe young earth creationists. Uh, and they've already got their answers already. So they don't need to do any more research. And I'm saying, no, you got to continue doing research because that's that's the most important thing. So I think, again, we are now pressure we the our podcasts this 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 group of podcasts we are now applying pressure to this world to say hey you got to do better scholarship you got to do better apologetics because we're, we're we're in many ways ahead of you already and it's you guys are playing catch up and i'm not trying to brag or anything like that but i do think that's really the facts on the ground what we can't we, help it if we are good what's yeah. that <laughs> We can't help it if we are good. We're good. Oh, and, and I <laughs> well, think you're... it's about collaboration too. Yeah. I mean, when yeah. for example, when we invited John Lundwell on with all of his sort of groundbreaking ideas, we were really hoping, you know, yeah. that some other people would pick it up. And I personally invited several people to come on Mormonish, you know, or any platform to talk with John, you know, no response or turned down. Then finally Mormonism with the Murph, right? He has, you know, Brent, Brent Gardner Gardner's. on and they talk about it. I was more than excited to see that. That's great. Mm-hmm. And I know that John is going to, I think, come on your show and my show and your show. Yep. John Lund will talk about you know, also, a yeah. back and forth, you know, a back and forth. Sure. And uh, not to bring it up again, but, you know, when Landon and I were trying to go to the uh, the Book of Mormon Central, you know, some of their events and we're told we couldn't attend, you know, which I understand. We really had this... Uh, go watch anyway I'll, I'll talk to you later anyway the point is we really do value collaboration and scholarship even with differing points of view and we love that it's exciting I think all of us do you know the back and forth and the discussion and you know throw the ad hominem away none of that we want to discuss you know so I'm glad that there are places where that happens and I applaud the apologists that are more than happy to do that because I think a, a lot of people a lot can be gained from that like you said it may be something you haven't heard before like the children of Aranac, you know, like when I first heard that, I was like, well, now that is interesting, you know, and I, I think I bought the little sub book, the children of Jaranac, it's Jaranac, right? Yeah, they yeah, have yeah, the, yeah. Sub. the book yeah. of Jaranac is the original, the plates. book of Jaranac. Yes. I have that from the original plates. Cause I'm like, well, what is this? You know, we shouldn't be afraid of that. We should not be afraid to collaborate and expand our minds. And I think both of you are great examples of that, which, which is just wonderful. 
which is why I consider well, you friends. Perhaps a new paradigm shift we can all kind of invoke and begin to do. And this just came into the top of my head. So it could be the Holy Ghost telling us a revelation here is <laughs> rather than worry about conversion, how about conversation? Ah, yes. That would make that a good t-shirt. Come on, yep, come that on. would make a great t-shirt. That's Not a great point. And have conversation. Like Boy, and in, 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 in an alternative universe, there's there's a there's a uh, version of Mormon Book Reviews that would be using that tagline. So, because that to me sounds so much of what I'm, what I'm doing. Yeah, it's already it's in existence. It's in universe yeah. three billion four hundred and forty four million nine hundred and fourteen thousand three hundred and seventeen of the backyard professor. <laughs> That's great. I love it. I want to go visit that that alternative timeline. So. <laughs> Well, I just want to say, oh, first of all, this is the other thing. We got to. This is the thing. Now, I guess apparently, uh, Carrie, you've been getting a lot of complaints about you, your audio could use some improvements. Okay, so I just want to tell people out there that you know, Carrie wants a professional, top of the line microphone, so he has per beautiful sound for his audience. This is a fifty dollar one I bought at Best Buy like a year and a half ago, but I'm eventually hoping to upgrade myself. But let's get Carrie a microphone. So there's somebody out there. Is do you have a don't? Do you have a donate page, Carrie? Do you have a place um, where people can financially I, support you? I, I am. I have a PayPal account. Uh, mm -hmm. I will post it, but I have also set it up so that I can do super chats okay. during that live session. During episodes. So okay. I think I think that goes through the AdSense of Yeah, YouTube. it does. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I've got that turned on now so I can take full... I can receive full benefit. I didn't receive any of the benefit under the Mormon discussion umbrella, but now I can. Yeah. Um, Matter of fact, I'm, so, still, I'm waiting on my payment from uh, Google AdSense today. They're supposed to get it every 21st. I'm waiting for my email to tell me I got the money. So basically what happens yeah. is you get your ad revenue. It comes, it gets bundled in with your ad revenue. So you'll get you'll, the super chat money. Cause I, I get super chats now and then too. Um, and, and it just comes in with your ad, the, your monthly, yeah. monthly and i'll yeah. mention that tomorrow night on the program i i will see how to i'm not quite sure how to put up the link yet with the paypal but i do have a paypal account and they can contribute there but oh that's very kind of you to bring that up steve yeah anyway, let's get let's get carrie are. let's get yeah. the backyard professor get a brand tools. new state-of-the-art top of the line and for those of you folks you what can email that? Email me at mormonbookreviews at gmail.com that if you want to personally get in touch with Kerry, because perhaps you want to just send him a microphone, I will forward that information to you as well. So let's see if we can get Kerry a new microphone. Plus, hey, I'd like one too. So maybe if you got extra, you know, let me know. Um, and so, Rebecca, I want to thank you so much. Last night we're on the phone. I said, we got to talk to Kerry Shirts. We got to get to him on as many platforms as possible to spread the word that the backyard professor has now moved from Mormon Discussions Incorporated, which is, by the way, he's very grateful for the platform that he was mm -hmm. given there. And now he's going to go back to the backyard professor and it's going to be it's going to be like the good old days. And we're going to have Kerry doing some wonderful stuff. It's going to be a hodgepodge of Mormonism and fantasy art and chess and you name it, whatever is on his mind okay. that day. <laughs> Any number of crazy things. And then and then once he retires, we're going to see how long he can get that hair to grow back. And that should be an adventure. I as want well. those I found my pictures of all my old. I want those pics. Yep. I, I will show those. In fact, I will show those tomorrow night. That'll be part of my show oh, tomorrow night. Okay. Oh, we're going to promote that it. then for sure. Okay. So folks, right. six o'clock. All right, let's go to the website. Let's go six to this one more time. time in the United States yeah. because I do have a very international audience and I'm so grateful for all of them. So they it's are six o'clock mountain time, which in my world is eight o'clock, which is why hey, whenever I go on, whenever I go on the, what's oh, that? Oh, you're on the videos. Go to the live. Oh yeah, there we go. We're going to go home. We're going home. Backyard yeah. professor's going home. And there it is. And there he is. And I think you're going to share a link, Carrie. I'm going to share a link on different sites too, so that we can make sure everybody doesn't lose track of the backyard professor. That was my concern because we typically go over to Mormon discussions to find it, but we want to make sure everybody knows now a more independent link. So we'll try to share the link out there too, to make sure that no one loses you, Carrie. <laughs> That's right. Well, so we just want to make sure the backyard professor. Click, click on that live section right now. Click sure. on that. Yeah. No, no. I mean the video. Click oh. on the video. Okay. There you go. And so you can hit ah, notify. There you go. There's the link right there up top in the URL. Okay. You know what's really funny, Carrie, is that so specific video. So I was gonna yeah. say that the little timestamp 
covers up the last two lines of that. So when I read I it yesterday, know. it said, the backyard professor says, my major life changes here. It's time to say goodbye. And I'm like, what is happening to Carrie? <laughs> <laughs> what? Is there something you're not telling us, Carrie? But thankfully, I read the rest of it. And it just means moving to a new scenario. So anyway, I was scared for a minute, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, I just want to, just so oh, you know, no. folks, there's a thing here to notify me. I just turned the notification on to get yes. a notification when you go live. So make sure yes. you're there in the live chat. I'll try to stop in and do like a drive-by chat with you there. Uh, my we, buddy. And uh, uh, that's what it's all about. We, we're we just all good people, I think. We're all trying our best. You know, I'll be forever be grateful to you, Carrie, for uh, when meeting you for the first time at the movie screening. And again, ties it all back into was the Was that screening. not a fun event? We had such a fun time. I loved meeting you guys there, man. It was great. That was fun. That was and you good. were sitting right in the front row, right next to a church employee. Uh, yeah. and so that's, that was the beautiful thing <laughs> about that event. It was that everybody was there. Everybody was welcome. And everybody's welcome at the Backyard Professor because he's just a cool, awesome dude. And Rebecca is a cool, awesome co-host, which, by the way, I failed to say, this is a special Mormon Media Reviews episode. It is here MMR. On yeah. Mormon Book Reviews. And we want to thank all of you. So I want you to leave comments. Maybe talk about your favorite Backyard Professor episode, whether it was back in the day when he's an apologist, maybe it was something dealing with chess, or what was your favorite Mormon Discussions Inc. version of the Backyard Professor? Uh, did you like it when he started throwing books, or were you a little worried about his mental health? You know, all these things, because right? <laughs> it's all live. We're all like, is he having a meltdown? Should I call the Backyard Professor to make sure he's okay? You I know? did that <laughs> once. I did that once. I called in, and I have to say, the first time Landon and I were ever on your show, Carrie, uh, sometimes he runs off to get books. So like Steve, yeah, but like for a long time and Landon and I were like, what are we supposed to, are we supposed to, he, is he coming back? <laughs> <laughs> but that makes it fun. It makes it real and it makes it fun. So yeah, it, we, we love it. By the way, I am, I, I realize there are people and, and I've been already told this that they said, well, you didn't lose all your old uh, videos and stuff because we keep researching those and we we share those with our family and friends i will through time uh be able to repost those uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the playlists a little different on my site than it was on the mormon discussion and so i will add some clarification of what the subjects the videos are i will be renumbering them so technically they may not be in chronological order i'm i, I promise okay. so I'm you're saying you're going to take all your old the, the stuff that you did on mormon discussions and you're going to also tra transfer it over to your channel too yes so, but every, so the one place all one stop once. one stop backyard professors okay that's great that's good to know thanks for is there anything else carrie you wanted to say about your channel or do you feel like we got everything covered here for you today? i i so appreciate you interviewing me and getting this out i i love you guys you're awesome i love everybody in the audience um thank you for your support i will pledge here and now i'm going to sincerely genuinely i always do this anyway but i i i don't try to take myself too seriously but the subject i do and so i truly do try to get good information out and that is my pledge to you on my independent channel is i will always strive to make it accurate if joseph smith is said to have said something or if one of the modern leaders in general conference said something or whatever i have made mistakes in the past on my channel i made such an egregious error on my old channel under mormon discussion inc i literally had to get back on and apologize to the church which i did but i'm gonna try hard to be more careful to keep more accurate we're all human we make mistakes but i promise you're going to just like on Steve's program here, just like on Mormonish with, with Rebecca and Landon, the Backyard Professor is dedicated to actual quality context as well as content. And we're going to have a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all there. All I can say is, yeah, baby. Let's yeah, go. baby. <laughs> None of us can do it like he does it. We can try. but it's And, and I am going to have merchandise now, too. And I will do a yeah, baby t-shirt. And, 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 and I am going to fit. Yes, there you go. And I am going to have coffee mugs. And I'm also going to be able to finish the Exmo Superheroes poster now, too. And I will put uh, us all together. I know I have some tweaking to do on the ones I have done. Right now, I'm working on 
who's the gal that the redhead gal, the lovely one that does the Mormon polygamy? Oh, I, Lindsay Hansen Park. Lindsay Hansen Park. Oh, oh yes. Kate, yes. Kate Kelly. Beautiful. I'm working on hers right now, Lindsay Hansen. She doesn't even know it. So if you guys know her, tell her, hey, the backyard professor has a <laughs> sweet treat for you. But oh, she has a spectacular pose. I'm looking so for. So we're going to do stuff like that. We're going to have merchandise that is genuinely unique, fun, and interesting, too. Wow, that sounds great. Awesome. That's very exciting. Well, this has been an awesome time. We just kind of threw this together at the last minute which is what I love to do. Actually, I think that's sometimes your best content is the stuff that you don't prepare for and you it just is. fly by, by by the seat of your pants, which I think is important. It, it, it's also very, uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> and only, now we have only, a visual. <laughs> only I can get away with stupid crap like that. I apologize. That's right. That's right. The beloved <laughs> backyard professor. We that's love it. you. Let's get him a microphone. Let's get people, his eyes on the backyard professor YouTube channel. Let's do what everything we can to help carry as he's part of his journey of learning, learning more things about himself, learning more things about Mormonism and just really having uh, being able to document it on your channel, I think is truly fascinating. It's really when you look at the evolution of Carrie Shirts on the Backyard Professor all these years, who you were, what you've become and what you're going to become as this journey continues is very exciting to me. So, folks, tell us what you think. And I'm looking forward to it. And just remember, uh, we do have links in the descriptions to what we talked about today. For those of you who like to financially support the channel, uh, there's links there as well. Also, don't forget the merch store where we have the hot chocolate mugs or coffee mugs, depending on your persuasion. And we also have T-shirts and all these wonderful things. And remember, this is the most important thing is, first of all, we have this major celebrity here to, great, to, to come and you. to my little channel, my little platform, and, and do this, I think, is truly an honor. And also the second thing, the most important thing, of course, is this. Remember, all the voices of the Restoration will be heard here on Mormon Book Reviews.